Jeff said he moved it. The, 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 I used to look at it because the same, so it's all. good news of a great joy which will come to all the people for to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor most merciful God we confess that we have sinned against you in thought word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved your neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen you in all goodness, by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord okay. Alleluia to us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Be joyful in the Lord all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this that the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Into his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his worship is everlasting, and his pleasureness endures from age to age. Psalm 18, uh, from verse 1 to 20. Recited in unison. It's on page 602. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my rag, and my haven. 
my God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I call upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. A cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils, and consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down, with the storm clouds under his feet. He mounted on the cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds in his pavilion. The prince of his presence in the clouds, first hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. He most high uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He worked on the boats and routed them. The ends of the sea were uncovered, and the foundations of the world laid bare. And your battle cry, O Lord, and the blast of your breath of your nostrils. He reached forth and grasped me. He drew out of my great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me. And they were too mighty for me. He confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He walked me into the my face. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Towards the beginning of the harvest, three of the thirty chiefs went down to join David at the cave of Adullam, while a band of Philistines were encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the stronghold, and the garrison of the Philistine was then at Bethlehem. David said longingly, Oh, that someone would give me water to drink from the well of Bethlehem, that is by the gate. Then the three warriors broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and brought it to David. But he would not drink of it. He poured it out to the Lord and he said, the Lord forbid that I should do this. Can I drink the blood of the men who went at the risk of their lives? Therefore, he would not drink it. The word of the Lord. Capital 11. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, the darkness covers the land. Deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin of destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals grace. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not be the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, which is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the Gospel according to John. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. 
Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Women, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone jar water jars for the Jewish rite of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The word of the Lord. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that they will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his son, all the days of our life. My child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, and the forgiveness of their sins, and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, of our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered at the Holy time. Those who were crucified died and were buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and he seated in the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Catholic Church in the communion of saints. Forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of our lasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, our strength and our salvation, you called your servant Thomas Becket to be a shepherd of your people and a defender of your church. Keep your household from all evil and raise up among us faithful pastors and leaders who are wise in the ways of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, the shepherd of our souls, who lives and reigns with you and Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today, we pray for the Diocese of Iowa in the Episcopal Church. In our Diocesan prayer cycle, we pray for Christ Church in Brownsville and missionaries and the spread of the gospel. We also pray for one and holy Catholic and Apostolic Church that may be one. We pray for the Episcopal Church, Michael Carey, the presiding bishop, our Bishop Phoebe, the assistant leadership. We pray for our own parish, St. Andrews. They would keep us from strength to strength, that we would move from glory to glory, led by you and the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us into truth, into true repentance and conversion. Guide all the teams that work here at St. Andrews. I pray for those who are sick, those who are uh, poor and destitute, that Lord, you would open the floodgates of heaven and bless them and extend your healing hand on the sick that they will be healed amongst us. Pray for those who are doctors and police officers and emergency services and staff. We pray that, Lord, you would be with them, especially this holiday season, that, Lord, you would keep people safe. May I add in the sessions of Thanksgiving this time. The peace of the Lord be always with you. page 367 
The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and good and joyful <clears throat> always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hmm. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken to the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son, who in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, you gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Andrew, Thomas Becket, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has told us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. 
Let them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. We in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.